Heck, Alfred Purcell. So, Peg, why are you uh, drawn to flash fiction particularly? Well, I, I love the form. Um, and I think it might have something to do with the way that I started out as a poet. Um, you know, and, um, and I started out in that way, not just because of uh, encapsulating uh, a lot in, like, in, uh, in a very compressed form, but also because I didn't have a lot of time in, at, at that point in my life uh, to spend on writing. So it was something I could do like in these quick bursts. And so, um, so that's part of it. But now I just, I really, 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 really <laughs> love the form because uh, even though I'm slogging along, I'm working on a novel, um, there's just something about um, uh, uh, capturing something in in that in that compressed in that compressed time frame, and no other form can do that for you. I mean, poetry, yes, but it, it's very different from poetry in the way that you have much more. Like it's very different even from narrative poetry, in in the way that you have a, a lot more. Um, range to work, narratively speaking, and I just really uh, love how it's about capturing um, without any kind of writerly indulgences at all, you have to really focus on every word counting, uh, which means everything to me, and you're trying to create a whole world or a universe um, in a, a finite number of words. Usually I like to work um, at 500 words or less, and um, I, I don't think there's anything really quite like it. You know, it just, when you're doing it, you, uh, you're creating this world that's before and after, and what I try to do is suggest something that will go will go way beyond the ending. It, you know, it expands out instead of just ending like that. Do you find it hard to be... Uh, you mentioned when you were first doing it, it was uh, trying... You didn't have much time, but I always found when you're writing less words, it actually takes more time. Do you find, do you find that's true or not? Okay. That's, you know, that, that can be very true. There's that whole... Um, there's, you know, that whole anecdote or that whole story from Mark Twain, like where he was writing the uh, telegram back and forth to his editors. Um, you know, the editor wanted, you know, something like one fifth of the number of words that he was sending in this, uh, you know, in the, in this finished product, and he was like, well. You'll have to Google it, <laughs> but it, you know. But the whole idea was like, okay, you know, the the lesser it is, the longer it's going to take for me to actually distill it to that short number of words, and that's very, very true. It really, it really is, um, you know, it's it's a lot of work to distill and distill and distill and distill down because. The more that you look at it, the more that you realize that doesn't even belong in here. You could, you know, you can drop scenes and scenes and pages and pages, and it's actually a lot of work to make something smaller rather than bigger. Um, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yes. All right. And sort of, I think, related to so the project, what we heard today, it stands alone, definitely. It's a strong depiction of a tense moment in a couple's life. Uh, but do you, do you plan to develop that into something larger? If so, how would you do that? Or if not, why not? Oh, no, never. That, <laughs> no, <laughs> never. I mean, to me, what's really interesting about that story is, is, I mean, like, there could be a sequel, and maybe somebody better than me could write that, actually. Like, well, what happens uh, after that? But for me, what's what, what the most interesting part of it is, is... Um, uh, the protagonist's, Lexi's, uh, moment of 
and and even a little bit more than moment, but an understanding about um, things are changing. This is uh, a moment of change, and she she really gets that. And uh, you know what would be less interesting to me would be to talk about how that would play out. You know, from that point on, like, oh, you know, what would be the uh, kind of back and forth between Lexi and Martin? Um, and I think also, like, though that Martin is not the protagonist, per se, uh, he also has a sense, you know, he's much more passive-aggressive, but uh, there, is, there is that sense between the two of them that we're at. We're, this is this is the moment. She's getting this this moment, and um, how it really actually plays out, I think, would be so much less interesting. I just think it could be probably not something I would even want to read. So I don't want to write that. <laughs> yes. yes. The uh, I don't know. Uh, the Dominique Strauss Kahn, they didn't bring it to the jury because they didn't believe it themselves. It's sort of like that. You, right. you don't want right. to write it if you don't want to, you don't want people to read it. Um, sort of a, oh, um, and, but I guess I was, the reason I asked is because um, you talked about how it could stand for something longer, something larger. So I just wondered if you wanted to flesh it out, but it sounds like standalone is the idea. So, given all that, what would you say is next on your literary horizon? Have you noticed a theme here in the final questions? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much that's next. It's just about um, it's just about having the time and making it work out. I have a couple of different projects going on, and and um, and I'm happy about that. Um, somebody who was a mentor to me always said, you know, always have many projects going on at once. Um, and I, I'm totally with that. I might have too many projects going on in a way, but I have um, a sense of urgency and interest in each one of them. So I have this, um, you know, my, fir my uh, foremost project is I'm finishing uh, a novel told in interconnected stories. And that's very close to being done. And, you know, whereas that's where most of my energy lies right now. Um, I have started another, another novel that will be a more traditional novel. Though I, think, I feel like that will be really hard for me because uh, the, the novel form, in my mind, allows for a lot of writerly indulgences. That all of the short work, you don't, that's not... That's not what that's not what you're doing at all. So, so that's kind of a challenge in a whole different way. Like to allow myself to just, in a way, indulge myself. Like just in hope that the reader will be like fine with <laughs> with, with that. But anyhow, so there's that, and um, I have another project of a lot of uh, flash fiction stories that are um, uh, based. They're uh, based around three different places, a coffee shop and a fair. Uh, so so there's that project. And then I just recently started some uh, memoir stuff that um, that's the newest of it all. And I'm looking at um, a lot of, I don't have a family that's close by any means, and I'm looking at uh, all of the extraneous characters or family members that um, that are not central, that weren't central to my life, like even an uncle, it starts with an uncle, and um, kind of looking at doing some memoir around how did that all add up to this um, family of no connection. I mean, for example, I'm, uh, I have five siblings, and they all live in the same very small town in Pennsylvania. And here I am, like, and I've never lived there, like, 
ever, and it's it's just interesting to think about. Uh, they're all, like I just have to say, they're all like really gifted and uh, like really brilliant uh, people uh, and strange. And but like, why are they all there? And um, and there wasn't any kind of familial connection in a sense. And it's really good, you know. I mean, maybe that doesn't fascinate you. It fascinates me, and I think that's where we all start from as writers. We start like looking at, well, why is why is that fascinating to me? And then we hope that what we come up with, that we hope that it will speak to other people, and that that it will be somehow interesting. Maybe it won't be. I don't know. But like that's that's like another project that I have. So. That sounds very busy, if nothing else. Yeah. So, and, and ambitious. Any questions for Peg? I know there probably are not, but I'm duty bound <laughs> now, given this. The uh, Cindy actually had a question the first time. But okay. All right. Thank you again to all of our readers very much. I appreciate it so much. And thank you for coming.